Hello, in this video we will be talking about how to replace the input shaft on KUKA robot, specifically Axis 2. This robot has this problem where it goes to the specific position but keep missing it. It doesn't go to the same position every time. And uh, every time it goes even missing it for a different amount, sometimes with like two millimeters, sometimes half an inch, whatever. So uh, looking at the coordinate numbers, you see the numbers perfect. The robot thinks it's in the correct position and where it needs to be, but physically it's not. So it came to our head that, you know what, maybe the motor is bad, slipping, something like that. So in this situation, we said, let's do a check mastering test. So which you come, like, instead of setting the master, you can do just checking the masters. And we did this, and the result was is, like you see here, for example, number two was off by minus 2.8 millimeter. We kept going. We went through all the axes just to make sure that uh, not any other axis also is bad. So the result was only number two is bad, and it's going to come back here again, and you will see like it's like it was minus 2.8 millimeter off. So it comes our, so when we thought, oh, must be something wrong with the motor or, or, or something there wrong. So we said, let's take the motor off and look what, and see what we can find out after taking the motor off. Now you have to remember taking the motor for access to is very dangerous because it might allow the robot to fail free falling. So going back to Kuka manual, uh, the operation manual, you will find a way how to secure the robot if you want to take off a motor motor two and, uh, and the manual explains everything how to take the oil off how to uh, secure the motor to take them uh, secure the robot to take the motor how to replace uh, all access motors or stuff like that it, 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 it explains to you exactly what all the information you need to, uh, when it comes to oil replacing the oils or replace the motors and how to secure the robots the it doesn't explain is if you, you have to change the input shaft and i don't think so there is any paper or manual or instruction how to change the uh, input shaft on the robot so that's what we're showing in this video so after we secured the robot and we uh took the motor off that's what we found the, uh, the input shaft is really really in a bad shape and uh, so now the deal is to take the input shaft off to take the input shaft off, we will explain that, but the new input shaft, when you order it, it comes like this. The input shaft, the shaft itself, and then there is like uh, two snap rings and one cover. And actually, this is the cover that you see uh, when you take the motor off and look at the input shaft. This is the cover that you see. So uh, whatever here around the input shaft, that cover, you need to take it off. And uh, behind that, there will be one snap ring you take that snap ring off and then uh, you pull the shaft out. And then after you pull the shaft out, there will be another snap ring behind the shaft to help the shaft not keep going, like going farther inside the robot. So one behind the shaft, one in front of the shaft to secure the shaft. And then this cover to uh, what this does is uh, it, it saves the, the oil. Now, the oil, the oil that you put inside the, the robot it's all around this input shaft. Uh, it's in the gear and in the shaft and all that stuff. So this seals the the oil. That's what the cover does. It's like actually is a seal. So I don't, uh, to, to start taking that input shaft off, you have to uh, take the oil uh, first, take the oil off first and uh, make sure there's no oil and then take this seal, this cover, this seal off and here where you can start taking the oil off you take this knot you take this relief uh, bolts so the oil will start coming out faster and you make sure there is no more oil there if the oil is good you reuse it if the oil is not good you have to change it so now we're good to go and here i took this picture uh, just to make to show you guys that if you don't empty the oil there will be uh, oil coming out if you try to take the seal off Unfortunately, there is, I don't believe there's a way to take it off and without damaging this seal. And when you buy a new shaft anyway, it comes with a new seal. So the way we did it is with uh, self-tab uh, uh, screws, we 
we drill them in, in this seal and there is uh, no worry about damaging anything behind it because behind this seal is the shaft itself which you're going to be replacing uh, so we put two and we start just pulling them out until the seal came out and I will show how it looks more how this seal right here we just pull it out with a little bit more force to pull it out in the first first time because it snapped in and that's how the seal and then after that here there is the first snap ring like right here so we will be taking that off to be able to get to the uh, shaft there you go we're taking it off here and now we are ready to pull the shaft now you have to be careful when you pull this input shaft to be straight you have to as much as you can to be straight and careful not to wiggle it not like putting push it up and down just straight out as much as you can and i will show here inside i will show more picture to see why like how the gear inside looks like and why you need to be careful when you pull it and uh, be straight as much as you can here you can see it how the gear looks inside the motor inside the robot and when you put it back it's just the same way when you just put it back twinkle it a small like uh, lightly until it fit between those teeth here's where how that uh, gear looks inside and the oil all over so and that's why the cover the seal in the front was sealing the oil this is the inside the second snap ring if you want to replace it you replace it mine as well you have a new one coming with the baggage anyway and that's how you replace it really uh that's all of it and uh, putting it back like i said you put the first snap ring which is going to be behind the uh, shaft you put the shaft in when you put it in you just slowly putting it in and try to align those gears together and when it put, when it, when you feel it went all the way back and there's a space for you to put the second snap ring that's where you stopped you put the other snap ring you put the cover snap it on it and you're good to go after that uh all you have to do after you put the oil back and after you put the motor back all you have to do after that is remaster uh that access when you put the motor back and power it there there will there should be no more dangerous you can take uh the crane if you if you secured the robot with a crane you can take the crane off you can uh, loosen it first a little bit and make sure the robot is in bow is in control right now and the motor is capable to hold that access and then you can take it completely off take the crane completely off and uh, when you guys done you're gonna have to master the access and probably the motor the robot will ask you to anyway to access to master the whole robot and uh, the brake test when you power it on and uh, that's uh, that's all of it and uh, Hopefully you don't have to do that, but if you end up have to do it, that's how you do it. Thank you very much.